everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is rebecca and today i'm bringing you a whole bunch of dollar tree diy christmas ornaments so let's get right into it the first one i'm simply taking one of these cute little reindeer from dollar tree and adding on a little bow these little bows come both red and green a whole pack of them for a dollar and that's all i did so you could do them all in the single color or you know, you could have some with red bows, some with green. They're cute as decor, maybe on a tiered tray or to hang in your tree. Another option with these little glittery reindeer from Dollar Tree, for this one, I took a little piece of some frosted eucalyptus and I think I got this for a dollar in Hobby Lobby or in Walmart, I can't remember now, but Dollar Tree has lots of options. You can also pick up things in Walmart sometimes for less than a dollar as well. So I just glued some little pieces of eucalyptus kind of to the back of the reindeer going up like with his antlers. And then I put a little bow around the neck with some light blue ribbon. And I even added a little bit, um, these little beads, which I cut out of a necklace, a Dollar Tree necklace. I cut these little silvery beads out and glued them in the center of the bow there. I just thought it would kind of dress it up. And I think this one's really cute to go with winter wonderland decor. And you could change up the bow on this one in order to match whatever color of ornaments or ribbons that you're going to be using in your Christmas tree. The next one's really, really easy as well. I'm taking the clear plastic ornaments from Dollar Tree and covering them with some snowflake stickers. This is gonna be perfect with some winter wonderland decor. I think these stickers are really cute. This is something that you could even have the kids make, super easy. Another option also using stickers would be to take these little sticker gems that come in a row like this. You can just peel off the entire row of gem stickers. They have red, green, blue, clear so many choices but all i did was take a long strip and go all the way around with that piece to cover the seam on the plastic and then i filled in using longer and shorter pieces of these little gemstone stickers and i think this turned out really cute it's just fun and easy to do and really really affordable to make for the next one, I'm taking an extra large plastic ornament from Dollar Tree, and these are just clear, round, extra large size. This is going to make a really beautiful statement piece in my sister's Christmas tree because she's using the pinks and rose golds this year. So I thought this was really beautiful, like rose gold tinsel from Dollar Tree and it's actually plenty. I did a large ornament and a small one. I still have plenty left. I think you could probably easily make f about four ornaments with one piece of tinsel. So really, really affordable. I would say three to five ornaments just depending like how full you want them to be. Another one that I made to go in her tree was actually using these leftover picks. I think these came originally from Michael's. Since I already had them laying around, I just wanted to be a little creative with these. So this is like the only thing in here. I think that's not exactly from Dollar Tree. I don't think these were too expensive to purchase. And all I did was actually kind of take them apart. I cut them and they're already on a wire. So I bent the wire to kind of make its own ornament hook and then cut and glued on the other balls to the bottom here um, they also have a wire like i said so you could add a little bit of hot glue like i did on this larger ball and then i put a little glue on that wire part and pushed it into the styrofoam of the second ball so i just kind of attached larger and smaller balls like this and i think they made kind of a cute almost like a topiary finial I, I don't know what the right word is let me know if you know what these type of ornaments would be called, but they're pretty cute. I made a shorter one and a longer one and just totally using something I already had. I didn't even need to buy anything for this, just took apart a leftover Christmas pick. Another really simple idea is just taking a simple clear ornament and putting a piece of greenery inside of it. This is a little piece off of the, some new Dollar Tree greenery that I saw in Dollar Tree this year for Christmas. And I just cut a little piece off and stuck it down in the ornament. I think it looks really cool. 
Now let's go ahead and move on to some more rustic style ornaments. For this one, I'm taking a large clear ornament from Dollar Tree and covering it in nautical rope. So Dollar Tree has this nautical rope. They also have more of like a cotton rope as well. So you've got a couple choices there. I think this turned out really cool. It's really simple, but just so rustic. It would definitely go with any kind of like country or farmhouse type of tree. Another option is to use the jute twine that they have, which is a much narrower rope. So you will need to go around a lot more times to cover your ornament. Um, for mine, I decided to use a smaller ornament for this so it wouldn't be quite as many times around. I could kind of cover it a little bit quicker and easier, but I used the jute twine and I just went all the way around the small ornament, same thing. I think I should have left it. Um, you know, you can also use a lighter and go back and take a lighter and just burn off any of the little threads that are sticking off. I think that would be a great idea. I didn't do it here. I ended up just spraying over it with a little bit of adhesive spray, also from Dollar Tree, and then sprinkled on some glitter. But I think it honestly would have looked so much neater if I went back and burned off the edges with a lighter. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And this one was inspired by something that I saw in Hobby Lobby for a really cute winter wonderland ornament. And it's basically a clear ornament that has some drawings on it. So I'm using a white chalk marker paint pen here and I'm just going to draw the lines to just kind of create like a snowy bottom, create some wintry um, branches and trees and also create some little reindeer on here. So this is really cute and I, honestly if you look at a picture I think it's not that hard to do. It's kind of easier than it looks just because you really don't need any detail. We're just basically creating a little silhouette. On here so it's it looks a little intimidating but it actually was easier than I expected just because like I said we're just creating like a silhouette so don't be afraid to give it a try and you know if you're hesitant on it use the small ornaments because you get two of them for a dollar so if you're not happy with it you can at least try again on another smaller ornament on the inside of it you can add some fake snow I tried some different things like flour and shredded coconut and random things like that. But definitely Dollar Tree has lots of options for fake snow or you could use something like baby powder or you can honestly just leave the inside totally empty. And what I actually ended up doing here was just I had shredded coconut and put that in there, but then I threw it away at the end of the season and just kept the empty ornament to use year after year. It looks totally good either way. For this one, you guys will have to let me know if you think it's worth it, but I took a simple little LED tea light. Now I got these in Christmas tree shop and I already had them. I'm sorry, these are actually little votives, not tea lights. They're a little bit taller, although you could probably do this with a tea light as well. And if you wanted to use some of the timer ones, I think that would work a lot better so that they would just go on automatically every day and you wouldn't have to worry about coming to turn them on. But one little cute option here is just to take some little tiny sticks and branches from outside and hot glue them on all the way around this little flameless LED candle. And inside there, I also looped a piece of twine so that I'd be able to hang this up. But it turned out really cute and it didn't cost much of anything at all to make. You just need to pick up your little pack of votive LED candles. Now for this one, instead of covering it in nautical rope from Dollar Tree, I'm actually going to take this rope from Michael's. It has red, green, and gold. I think it's really pretty. This is going to be perfect for like a candy or sweets themed tree, maybe a gingerbread tree. It just kind of reminds me of a candy type ornament. So I just started at the top, used hot glue, and wrapped this all the way around the ornament. I think this turned out really cute. It's really pretty and really festive. Now for this one, super easy. I just glued together a bunch of the little wooden Jenga blocks that I had left over and created somewhat of a rectangle here. And I just did it in the size to fit as a background for this little Dollar Tree ornament. So this one says joy and I'm just gonna glue it on here. But before I glue it on, I did paint over the Jenga blocks with some white chalk paint so that I had a nice um, 
even background. <laughs> and then on the back, I just used some hot glue to attach a little bit of twine and made a little hanger for this. Now this one's a little unique. I'm also using a clear plastic ornament from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna actually cover the bottom half in Mod Podge and then apply some gold leaf foil paper. So I got this on Amazon and I, I mentioned this in the past, but I don't think it's worth it if you just wanna do this for one thing. For the, In this case though, I already had this because I bought a set of the foil leaf for some projects and some gifts that I did in the past, like over the past year. So I already have this foil and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it like this. Really easy and it turned out really pretty. It looks pretty unique as well. Moving on to the next one, another clear ornament from Dollar Tree. I painted the lower half of it with some burgundy or some red paint and then sprinkled on the glitter. All you need to do here is basically try to paint the bottom half with kind of a similar color to whatever glitter you're using so that when you put your glitter on, the glitter will stick and stay in place, but also any little spots where the glitter is not perfectly on there the paint will just make it all blend in and you won't really notice any of those little gaps or spaces. Another option is to fill some ornaments with tinsel. Now for this one, Dollar Tree has this little tinsel Christmas tree wall decor hanger and it was actually broken already. So I decided to just take all the tinsel off of it and use it to fill ornaments. And oh my goodness, there is enough tinsel on this little Christmas tree to fill quite a few little ornaments actually. So here is how this one turned out. It looks so sparkly and festive and a really fun DIY Christmas ornament. Now here is another cute little Christmas DIY that I want to share with you. I thought this turned out so adorable, simply using one of these little mini Dollar Tree picture frames. And then all I did was take some nautical rope, cut some little pieces and hot glue that around the edge of the frame. I added a little red bow on there for a little accent piece and I printed out a scripture verse to put inside the frame. I think this is so cute. Again, just using a little bit of twine to create a little hanger for the bag. Here is how this one turned out. I really love this one and this one has held up over the years. For the next Christmas ornament DIY, I'm taking one of these sled ornament pieces. So Dollar Tree actually has three different styles of these now. And I think this is really cute because you can totally paint them and customize them however you like. I'm gonna use a little antique wax or some wood stain on the top of the sled here to do the seat. I used a foam brush and just kind of did a little bit around the outside edges of the seat and also created a few lines going vertically down the seat to make it kind of look like wooden boards. And then what I just kind of dry brushed like the rest of whatever was on my foam brush lightly across the whole thing to just kind of give it a little bit of color and dimension, make it look more like real wood. And now the runners of the sled, I'm gonna paint those over with some black chalk paint. Once this is all dry, I'm coming back in and tying on two gold bells. These are also from Dollar Tree. I can get a whole pack of them for just a dollar. So instead of tying them, I actually tied them both onto some cotton twine, but then I glued the ends of the cotton twine at the top of the seat. And nobody's gonna see that because right on top of it, I'm going to add my bow. Now, this is just a little plaid bow I did with a scrap of ribbon. This ribbon is left over from Michael's, but Dollar Tree does have so many ribbon choices for Christmas, so use whatever you have. I just happened to have a little scrap of this ribbon left over, and rather than throw it away, I decided to create a little custom bow here for my Christmas sled ornament, and here is how this one turned out. Now, one thing that's new this year in Dollar Tree that I was really excited about are these plastic white ornament balls. 
And all this way, the fact that it's already white, I decided I can just simply decorate the top a little bit. There's so many options for these. Oh my goodness. I would love to know if you guys have done any crafts or ideas or decorations with these white ornaments that Dollar Tree has this year, because I'm, I think there's just tons of options, but this is super easy. I just glued on some little scraps of greenery and then glued in one of these little burlap bows. These came six for a dollar also in Dollar Tree. That's all I did to this. Let me know if you think I should dress it up a little bit more, add any sparkle to it, maybe add a little burlap or twine, make it look a little more rustic. There's definitely so many options, but for now, I'm leaving it like this. Let me know what you guys would do with this one. For the next two ornaments, I am using these ornament filler beads and I'm just taking the smaller ornaments that are two for a dollar in Dollar Tree and I'm gonna fill them with beads. So in order to completely fill the small ornament, you'll need about one and a half packs of beads. Two packs ended up being more than I actually needed, but one is not quite enough, but I'm gonna show you both ways. So you'll see with it totally full and you'll also see, so for example, this one right here, this is one pack of beads and you can see that it's maybe about half full or so and that's okay. I'm actually gonna leave it like that because I want to do a big elaborate bow on here, something very elaborate and over the top, which I don't normally go too crazy layering on a lot of bows, but I just thought it would be fun to get really creative here. And I also didn't really have the perfect ribbon for this one. So I decided to take a few different ones and layer them in here because I just kind of couldn't really decide which one I wanted to go with. None of them felt like they were the perfect thing, but sometimes when none of them are the perfect thing, all of them together makes the perfect thing, <laughs> in my opinion anyway. So I layered on three different types of little bows here just from some different Dollar Tree ribbons that I had. And then I felt like we needed something in the middle there. So I did actually come back and just hot glue a single pearl on in the center. And I thought that just helped kind of complete the look. But here is how this one turned out. For the next DIY, I'm taking a large clear plastic ornament from Dollar Tree and some of this white snowflake garland here. So I guess you can use this in your tree, that would be fun, but I'm actually just gonna use a bunch of it to fill inside the ornament. Now, this is an ornament that you would be able to get multiple ornaments off of the same garland because there's so much of it. Just fill it however much looks good to you less or more either way this looks really cool and it's really neutral it would look great in a winter wonderland tree For the next one, I'm also using a clear plastic ornament and we're filling it with some of this little ornament filler that Dollar Tree sells. So it's kind of like these little blue sparkly gems and I thought this would just be really pretty to add in here. So I don't know how many you would add. It's gonna be heavy for sure if you tried to fill up the entire ornament. So I just did a little bit in the bottom here and then thought about adding in a little piece of like eucalyptus or something. But ultimately what I came back and did was just add a couple little white snowflakes in here and also added some more of those little silver beads from this Dollar Tree necklace. Hot glued that around the top and let that kind of hang down and I'm going to add my ribbon and bows on top of that now. I've got the perfect blue ribbon here also from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to make a little bow to tie and glue on top and here is how this one turned out. For the next one, I'm taking one of these Dollar Tree pillows and they did have these in different colors. So I basically just cut off the seam here so that I could remove all of the filling and stuffing. And then I stuck the entire pillowcase 
down inside of this ornament so that you just see all of this shiny beautiful material in here i think this is just such a beautiful effect and this costs two dollars to make dollar for the ornament and a dollar for that pillow but i think this came out really unique and really beautiful you could add a bow on top you could you know dress it up more if you'd like to but it also looks really beautiful as is For the next one, I'm taking this little Hello Winter sign. Now, this would be really cute in the tree if you're going with a red and white theme. If you're into penguins, this is super cute. You can also redo the back of these signs and just make it a double-sided ornament or just change it all together and paint it and decorate it to fit with the decor that you want to use. So I painted the back over with some blue chalk paint or acrylic paint, whatever you prefer. Now I'm taking some of these little sticker pearl beads that come in a little sheet like this. And I basically just stuck a row of these pearls all the way around to line the outside edge. I hot glued one of these little Christmas trees on here. I thought this little tree was so pretty. And then I just added a little bit more of this narrow light blue, baby blue ribbon into the top. So pretty and gorgeous. And just, you can make a little bow. You can make a little ornament hanger here. It's the perfect thing for a snowy winter wonderland tree, especially if you're doing blues and whites in your decor. You can even add a little gem sticker or something like that on top of the tree. I decided to add one on here just to kind of help cover up that little hole in the tree because the tree is a single ornament from Dollar Tree as well. This is just a fun way to dress up your ornament and make it a little bit more creative and a little more custom. Another idea for these Dollar Tree ornaments is to take some rhinestone ribbon here that Dollar Tree sells and simply wrap some around the center of your ornament. So I thought this would be perfect to go in my mother-in-law's tree. She has all of the light blues with a snowy winter wonderland theme for her Christmas decor. And I thought this would be a really beautiful touch in her tree. Now, occasionally I will see these ornaments in Dollar Tree. They're kind of like a light bulb shape, but you can actually pop the top right off of them. And now we're gonna fill this one up. And so I wanted to, again, do some blues. I actually saw this teal turquoise um, glitter branch in Dollar Tree. I thought this was so cool. So I decided to clip off a few of the pieces on this one and stick them down inside the ornament here. I've got three little pieces in here. And I want to now add a bow or something at the top. So I covered the top in some light blue ribbon that I had. Now I'm gonna add some bows on here. I've got this gray silver ribbon that says Believe. I'm gonna also add a blue one on top of there. And I wanted to add a little bit of silver in here. So I've got a silver glitter ribbon. I got all of these in the dollar store. You can dress it up a little bit more by adding another little piece from that floral branch up in the top there to kind of bring the color up into your bow in the top. And you can add a little gem or pearl or something in the middle there. And I think that just really completes the look for this beautiful Christmas ornament. I think these would also make a really cute gift idea as well. The next one is kind of an unusual DIY, and I just got this idea, but I started thinking it might look kind of interesting. I took a larger and a smaller ornament from Dollar Tree along with this bag of the red and gold vase filler. And for the first one of these, I filled it with the red vase filler balls, as well as some of these little mini white styrofoam balls, the little fake snow. And it almost looks like something that, to me, it looks like something that should be in like a candy or sweets themed tree maybe. <laughs> but for the next one, I didn't have enough of the red balls. So I actually mixed both the red and gold and then also mixed in the white styrofoam 
little snowy pieces and I think these just look kind of unique and interesting. I feel like this is the kind of thing that you're probably going to love it or hate it, but let me know what did you think of this one with the vase filler and the fake snow in here? What are your thoughts on this one? Next up, I wanted to make ornaments for my girls. For this wooden snowflake, I'm taking some white fabric paint and outlining it all. And while that is wet, I'm gonna add some glitter on top. So I added some silver and pink glitter on top. She does have a lot of pink in her room, so I thought she would like that. I'm gonna be adding her initial into the center of this. Now, Dollar Tree does sell fabric paint as well, but I'll leave a link for the one that I'm using if you can't find that one in the dollar store. Now, while her ornament's drying, we're gonna go ahead and make Kylie's ornament. And for her, Kylie loves hot cocoa so much. So I'm taking this blue chalk marker from Dollar Tree and coloring in one of these little mug ornaments. And then we're gonna use that puffy fabric paint up at the top. And we're just gonna fill that all in and make it look like whipped cream. And then add on some of these little tube confetti glitter pieces in red and green to make the little sprinkles on top of the hot cocoa. I think this is gonna be so adorable. I'm also adding a little letter K onto Kylie's ornament. And all I did for hers was outline in the center of the K with that fabric paint and then sprinkle some pink glitter on there. Again, both girls have pink in their room, so I thought this would tie in nicely with their room decor and it's something really cute that they can add onto their Christmas trees. While I'm making family ornaments here, I decided to make the dogs some ornaments this year as well. You can get this pack of six chalkboard tag ornaments in Dollar Tree. Really fun and easy to customize and decorate. So I'm just adding a little bow on top of this one for Kenzie. I got this pack actually of these little glitter pink bows in Walmart last year. And I'm gonna add a little bit of greenery on there. We're gonna add a little pearl in the middle of hers. And on kimchi's, I decided to actually use the greenery, add some red berries, and see, I wanted to add a bow on here too with the buffalo track, but it was kind of too large. It just wasn't working out right. So since I had some of the gold vase filler balls left, I added those on here. Although now I'm second guessing that because I feel like the way this ornament looks might be a little weird. <laughs> the arrangement and placing of the balls and the berries and the greenery might be a little weird but anyway <laughs> it's already glued on so i think i'm gonna just leave it as is and write their names on here so we have kenzie and kimchi and i'm gonna also put the year on this ornament as well i don't know if you guys can hear kimchi crying in the background but he's hoping to go outside on the deck and bark at the birds. I hope that you guys enjoyed these Dollar Tree Christmas ornament DIYs. I know this was a really big, long video. We had so many ornaments in here and so many different ideas, but hopefully it gave you lots of fun inspiration for your Christmas decor this year in 2021. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.